Are you blind or are you blind? Am I blind? Wait, let me explain myself a little bit. Blindness is defined as lack of vision or as something that may not be corrected with glasses or contact lenses. There are many kinds of blindnesses, like night blindness, which means that you have difficulty seeing in low or dim lights, or color blindness, which means you see colors differently than most people. And I could go on and on talking about all the different kinds of blindnesses. But have you ever heard about life blindness? But to start, I want you all to ask yourselves a question. What is something everyone in this world wants, no matter their age, gender, religion, or nationality? Have you ever thought about this? Well, I'll help you out. This very wanted thing is actually called happiness. But it's not that kind of happiness we're used to seeing nowadays. It's not the kind of happiness that depends on being recognized or having friends or having the latest phone model or car model. Not even the one that is about having money. This kind of happiness I'm talking about is the one that comes from within. The one that is there no matter the circumstances you're in. Authentic happiness is the one that comes from within. The one that is there no matter the circumstances you're in, whether they are good or bad. If our external situations are going well, it obviously might make it easier for us to choose happiness. But it's truly not the cause of it because you can be happy even if things around us are going nothing like we would like them to be. I think it's funny and a little bit weird to think about it, to think that it's literally our decision whether to be happy or not. Many people say that life sculpts you, it builds your personality. And according to a theory tabula rasa, we are born with a blank mind, and the experiences we face throughout our lives are the ones that build or shape our personality. And that exactly is what takes me to my question. Why aren't we all happy if it's something we can choose to be, even when things around us are going nothing like we would like them to be? Spring is a season that comes before and after two very recognized seasons. And even though I do love those seasons, spring seems to be my favorite one because spring is my reminder of how many changes we face through our lives. Some might not be pretty, such as winter or autumn, where the beautiful flowers and leaves are either covered in snow or burned away, therefore leaving the trees with no beauty at all. This definitely reminds me of our personal lives, since it's no secret that life will hit you hard in the face, as the famous poem, If I Should Have a Daughter, says, which I think it's totally true. We might think we're winning in life, and we are finally seeing the sun again, until we come to realize that the sun will burn us away. But this doesn't really mean that some kind of beauty doesn't come with it. We do go through changes, phases in our lives that will definitely test us out. They will throw us to the ground, punch us in the face, and make our beautiful flowers and leaves fall or burn away. But with that, we will change. We will grow healthier and stronger. Be definitely proud of what we have, what we had, and we're about to have. Spring is my reminder that after each storm, a rainbow does come. Spring is my reminder of how amazing and beautiful change can actually be. This current phase in our lives that is coincidentally nicknamed the COVID season is a very accurate way to describe this. Many people say that our lives have been put on a pause. And even though sometimes I definitely want to call it that way, I know it's nothing near to that. Because in this time, we are having the chance of a lifetime. We are having the chance to be grateful for everything we have, what we had, and are about to have. This is a time for us to see things in a new perspective. And I know that just by saying this, does not, make that, does not make it that change is easy, because change is hard. And 
In moments of change, such as this time, the best way I can describe myself is like someone that cannot see anything because he or she thinks is blind. Maybe like someone that is suffering from night blindness, color blindness, or any of the other kinds of blindness as I mentioned at the beginning. But what if I tell you that the actual kind of blindness we might be suffering is actually called life blindness. Life blindness is just like having a blindfold over your eyes. This kind of blindness is the one that is not letting us see the good, the beauty in our fallen leaves, the challenges that are making us successful, and the ones that will give us the true and authentic happiness I was talking about earlier. But the good thing about this kind of blindness is that we are able to take that blindfold off. I think it's time for us to stop and think, to realize that happiness is truly our perspective and our decision, as it was my decision to take this blindfold off. So now the question would be, are you blind? Are you blind? Am I blind? Or are we just blindfolded? Thank you.